Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, this is the last time you saw, I showed you my base. And in this base, uh, right before I quit playing the other day, uh, I was working on the Blood Magic area, which I have finished making look all fancy and nice. You know, it's pretty cool. A little night sky going above. And red blocks. You know, I stuck with the red and black pattern and a little bit of white in the walls. But, um... Blood magic, if you're unfamiliar with it, is a form of magic that actually uses blood drawn from yourself or creatures. Which is pretty cool. Um, that's why I have all these notch apples and a bunch of healing potions in my inventory. It's so that way I can heal myself and keep this thing full. Which I think it's full right now. But in order to be able to, understand, uh, to know how much blood you've got in it, you have to use what's called a... Uh, let's see, what is it called now? Uh, sigil. Divination sigil. This tells you how much blood we need. And we need alchemy. So we need a hellfire forge, which we have not made yet. Okay, let's hop over the ME system, which I think I might set up some wireless ME system off cam so that way we can have it over in the uh, uh, blood magic room too. Hell, fire forge. Come on, iron, got all that. Um,. What was that? Blood. Yeah, we're gonna need these demonic wills. Alright, um. Now, we were going to make a sigil. I'm gonna need redstone. I need to make a. a petty tartaric gem, which is redstone, gold, blue dye. And glass. Redstone. Blue dye. Wait. Where's my blue dye? Oh, wait. Walk. Like, I don't know what I was thinking there. Lapis. Um, dragon, shut up. Be really loud. Wait, why did I think I needed blue dye? Bone meal. No, I needed to make a tartaric gym. That's right. Uh, which requires, yeah. Uh, lapis, gold, and I need, ah, so gold and glass. Gold. Glass. I'm going to bring a chest in there as well to store some extra stuff. So that way my inventory doesn't get cluttered. Okay, we're gonna slap this chest down right here. Toss all these potions in here real quick. Um, we're also gonna place the Hellfire Forge. Now I don't know if the Hellfire Forge needs blood or not. But I'm pretty sure this is close enough. I know it doesn't. That's right. So this can go here. Wait, which one has more demonic will? So I think we need a certain amount in there. So toss all that in there. Boom. Created one. And we need two of them. There's a reason we need two of them. Okay. Pull that out. Now we have two tartaric gems. Um, now I don't know if we can draw the will out of these, into these, but I don't think so. No idea. Um, but I know we need a specific weapon from Blood Magic. And the weapon we need is right here. A sentinel sword. So we're going to actually need another Tartaric gem. I'm going to toss this back in here. Boom, boom. And just one more. Okay. Now we're going to need a iron sword. So let's go ahead and nab that real quick. Uh, plenty of them right here. 
And what this does is this sword, when you kill creatures with it, instead of dropping demonic will, like it would with the snares, it'll just fill up one of these gems for us. But these are these are the lowest class gems you can make. So I'm gonna say we're gonna need this. That and that. <coughs> There we go. Now we have a sentinel sword. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep one of these in our hotbar. And we're going to go over to the mob grinder. And basically what we did with the snares, we're going to do with the sword. That's what, another reason why I love my mob grinder. It's set up so well that I, if I need to use melee based weapons, I can. I can even set up myself like some sort of mechanical user and replace one of these with and it'll do it for me. So, what we're going to do is here. Am I in peaceful mode? I am. Why? Okay, plenty of zombies. Let's smack some bitches. This sword is not very strong. If we start getting overpopulated, I'll have to just flip that switch and kill him. Um, and turn off my magnet real quick. Ow! If anyone's curious how the little ones aren't getting out and I'm still able to hit them, it's because instead of using like half slabs to block them off, I made a very small chisel and disc wall just over the edge of being too small for uh, cave spiders and uh, zo uh, baby zombies to go through. Now if you notice down there at the bottom right where my uh, gem is, that little bar is starting to go up very slowly. Alright, I'm going to cut until I've got both these gems filled up and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and I filled up both these target gems. Now while I was away, I went ahead and gave this a bunch of XP boosts. Um, and, uh, well, not XP boosts. I gave it a bunch of enchantments. Unbreaking, Mending, Sharpness 5, and uh, XP boost. It, it just made my life a lot easier. It means I won't have to repair it or anything like that. And it made it a little bit stronger so I can kill these creatures a little bit quicker. But, um, we got both these. Now we're going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade them as much as I can to begin with here. So, one second. Let's turn it off. Um, gem. The lesser gem uh, with the Hellfire Forge. Diamond, Lapis Block, and Redstone. So we need two of those. Stone block and block. So make sure it works. Let me double check that. Gems, uh, redstone, lapis, and diamonds. Yep. Now, the reason I'm grabbing a stack rather than just a couple is because I know I'll be using the Hellfire Force for other things, and I'd rather have keep the resources for here. So I'm probably just going to toss them in here when I'm done with them. So, boom, 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 and boom. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch them out. Well, I was going to switch them out. So, I got to go fill this thing back up. Leave that one there, actually. There we go. Put all the oil from it into there. Let's see if I can do it now. Nope, it's got to have more oil than that. It's got to have a set amount before it can even do anything, so. So, filling both of them up was a bit of a waste of time. To just empty down one of them anyway. Okay. Turn that spawner back on. 
turn the grinder off. And I added some slabs to make my life a little bit easier. Which will be right up in here. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in a second. Alright, guys, I didn't fill it up all the way this time. Uh, for more than one reason. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go turn the other one into the lesser part of gym. The reason I'm doing this is you got to have a certain amount of will to do certain things. And the higher the tier you go, the more stuff you can create. So I figure it, I can go. I should go as high as I can, as quickly as I can. So that way, um, the common tartaric gem is lesser diamond imbued slate. See, this is why I can't go any further right now. I need the imbued slate, which an imbued slate requires a tier three blood altar. Our blood altar is only tier one. Um. So that means we should, uh, let's see, blood, we were wanting to make the sigil, definition sigil, which requires arcane ash, and it doesn't require any will to make arcane ash, which is good. We need coal, gunpowder, redstone, and bone meal. Let's go grab those resources really quick, and let's drop off a few resources too while we're at it. Don't want to leave all that stuff in here. Take all this stuff out and throw it in here. Alright, and my guy's getting hungry, so I need to grab some food. You think with all this automation I would be I would have been smart enough to make a decent food collection system. I don't think I do. Let's see your toast. I have some toast. Like, there we go. That's enough toast for now. Toss that in there. Uh, um, what was it I needed? Uh, bone meal. Grab a stack of that. Uh, Gunpowder. Grab a stack of that. Um, and coal. Grab a stack of that. Now, I don't know if I need charcoal, but I'm going to grab whatever I got of that. Food, 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 food. There we go. Moving on. Yeah, I, I'm surprised I don't have a decent food system. I mean, I could go over to the crop area and set up some growth and automate some stuff, but eh. Ash. Arcane ash, and I need the redstone as well. I need to pop this right here, and group. We're going to make more than one. Uh, they have durability, but... I figure I'll probably use at least two in the span of doing all this. So grab all these resources back out. And I can toss this back in here, this in here, this in here, this in here, and that in there. And the second arcane ash. Now to make a divination sigil that apparently I can't spell. Okay. Blood. B-I-B-I. -B -I. Okay. You put, use the arcane ash, it creates a thing on the ground. You throw redstone in there with a blank slate, which requires stone and blood altar, which I don't know why I haven't at this point already, but I need to get stone automatically over here. So what we're going to do is where am I keeping stone and where am I automatically making it at? That's what I need to know because I need stone like crazy for blood magic. Like it's not even a little bit crazy, it's very crazy. I'm going to have to turn this off for now. I don't need it right now. Um, but I'm at, okay, I think the automation stuff is all back in here. Okay. That's making lava. That's storing lava. This is making obsidian and stone and netherrack. That's compressing all the eggs into dirt. That's making cobblestone and compacting it like being crazy. Alright, it still hasn't made an octuple for me yet. Uh, we're at 11 million. Wait, do I not have any stone? Stone makers yet? Hold on. Did I have not re-automated stone? There's something wrong with me. Let me take a look at stone in here. Stone. That's all the stone I have? I haven't re-automated it. Well, okay. Furnace. Uh, extra utilities furnace. 
speed upgrades. Uh, this one's 20 of them. Four. Uh, let's see here. I need a wrench. No, I don't. Um, what's it called? It's Syndraconic. Mm, this guy. There we go. Make that. Um, crystal Biker. That's what it was. Um, put this over here. And I need a cobble generator. Okay. Boom. Toss it back in there. Tier 2. Tier 3. Tier 4. And Tier 5. Just for maximum speed on that. Um, don't think I'll need another one. I need item conduits. And I need speed upgrades. And I want to grab a, a drawer. Now, yeah, basic drawer. I only need one. Um, but I want to see. Is there any kind of. Like with um, better, uh, better storage mods. You usually have this one item that you can connect two drawers together and they'll have the exact same storage in them. I don't know if this mod has it. Redstone, redstone, redstone. It doesn't look like it. Dang. Okay. Uh, looks like we're on Ender Chest then. Um, grab both of these. And since we're making stone, let's use gray dye. And I can spell it with them. And what we're going to do is, where am I storing stone at? Is that stone? That's hardened stone. That's regular stone right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is, do I have an exit over here? Uh, I do. on the bottom shell. There it is, right there. So what we're gonna do is place this here. We're gonna make it gray, gray, gray. No, gray. Then I'm going to take item conduits. Pop one right here. Always active. Insert. Fill it with speed upgrades. And now, I'm going to take. Come over here. We're going to go over to the automation room, which should be. Yeah, over here. Yeah, right here. Now, because I feel like I'm going to automate cooking up more than one thing here, I'm going to set up the... I'm going to set up the cookers right here. Just like that. And... Set up the, the chest right here. Boom, boom, boom. Grab the item conduits. Pick it up from this to this. Speed upgrades in this. Alright, and now toss these speed upgrades in here for cooking. First set this cobblestone generator right behind it. Boom. Extract. Insert. Speed upgrades. Now all I have to do is hook up power to this bad boy, which I think we have a power source nearby. Yeah, it's hooked up over here, but we may need to continue it. So where's my X? We can exit right here. Yeah. 
this is what kind of what was this an energy crystal? So let's hop back into here, grab an energy crystal. Uh, not basic, I want a wyvern. Yeah. It started. Sweet. The way I have all that crafting done is actually way better than it was before, way more efficient. So it's a lot quicker. We're gonna run this over here. We're gonna plop it down above it. And I do plan on replacing, like, the glass, the space above it with glass like I did prior. Um, alright, let's connect some stuff up. You need to connect up to this one. This needs to connect over to the furnace. Just like that. And now, automatic cobblestone. Cobblestone generator is keeping up. It's pumping out stone faster than it's making it. Uh, and it's pumping it into here. And it seems to be pumping it out of this just as quickly as it's making it in there. So, I call that automatic stone generator. Alright guys, we have an automatic stone generator. Um, now, I'd like to keep stone handy over there as often as possible. So, let's see how we're doing on stone in our system. Well, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's going up by five at a time, pretty much. I like that. Good, 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 good. Alright. So, now we've been recording for about 22 minutes. I'm going to set up a couple of things off camera real quick, guys. Um, and then I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Um, I set up a couple couple things over at the refined storage system. Basically, I automated it so that way stone will keep these three slots full. And then it'll send up a singular stack and keep this thing completely full. I have 15 speed upgrades in this, which is the max on these. And it'll keep this thing full cobblestone at all times. And I've also locked this drawer so that way that's the only item this can hold. So now, pull it out, it'll instantly re it'll refill almost instantly. Now, now we're moving on to the next step. You throw a piece of stone in here, and it might take a minute. And I don't know if particles are turned on. Um, why are they at the middle? There we go. You can see now it's transforming. We made a blank slate. All right, now all we need is that redstone. Pop down here real quick. A uh, piece of redstone. Now we can perform a ritual, guys. So we place this down right here. Place the redstone down on top of it. Then we can put a blank slate on there. Check this out, guys. A ritual has begun. And boom. Divination sigil. Now check this out. This thing is awesome. You right click on a blood altar. Shows you how much, what's the capacity tier, and how much it's actually got in there. Which uh, wasn't quite full when we used it because it only takes a thousand blood to make into uh, make stone into the next tier. But you can like watch it drain it. Because we're gonna need a lot of blood slate, so I'm not afraid of doing this. See, used exactly one thousand. It doesn't continue. Now, later on when you have this thing upgraded, it will. So that's going to be our next step. We need to make runes. Blank runes. Oh wait, no, I was wrong. First step is making a blood orb. So, we're going to be... We need to make the lowest tier, which is a diamond. And we have plenty of blood in there, which I think we have a diamond in here we can have. Uh, yep. Boom, just throw it in there. Check this out. It'll transform just like the uh, stone did. Just requires a little bit more blood to make this one. 
and the, you can actually watch the blood flow down, which is kind of cool. Should be pretty soon. Today, please. It'll probably be about 44,000. Or 4,400. And boom. There it is. Check this thing out, guys. Uh, it works just like the knife. You can cut yourself. And the difference between having this thing and one of these is you have a personal blood storage, which is the orb, and they have a capacity based on which orb you have. And you can see that by right-clicking the air with the divina divination sigil. Now, that blood is like blood you can carry around with you that you can use. Yes, it's weird that you have a little orb in your pocket that has your blood in it, or whenever you kill this blood in it. Uh, but check this out. Now that I've right-clicked it and claimed it as my own, I can throw it back in here. It'll actually start draining the blood, but filling my personal network. Which is really cool. Alright. They got 4,000 blood in there. So now we have the first step we need to start making runes. Are you? Yes. Blank runes. When did it become chiseled stone when you need to make blank runes? Uh, who cares? It's just regular stone four times. But, um,. We need two blank slate per room, and we need we need for the first t second tier we need this entire red pillar around the uh, blood altar, not under, just around it, to be blank uh, rooms. That's uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight rooms. That means we need sixteen blank slates. So. I mean, I could automate all this using redstone and stuff like that to where it'll automatically place it in there and stuff like that. But right now, I'm just going to step with what we got. How much blood is in there? So we'll toss one, two, three, four. Uh, in order to toss four in there, we need a hopper. Do I have any iron on this? No. So we're going to make a hopper real quick. Um, got it. Ooh, I passed the door. There's something really laggy about that hallway. I can't figure out what it is. Probably all the doors down. Alright. So now, we, plot, we hook up the hopper to the side of it. We can toss all four in there and place all four in there. Then, once all four are in there, it'll start draining blood and filling up all four slates. It'll make four at a time rather than just one. But it would require 4,000 blood instead of 1,000. So, what we can do in the meantime while we're waiting on those to change is grab some healing potions and the golden apples. Hopping up here. Okay, and now it's full blood, and we have five total slates. Is it full blood though? Not quite. Pretty close though. How about now? Yep, now it's full blood. Now we can toss ten of them in there. Boom. Let's grab a piece of toast and recover a little bit of health. Let that change up. I'm going to come back when I finish making all 16. Alright guys, we're back and I've got all 16 slates. So, we can get those. Rune. 
to the stone, so let's see here. Times, let's see here. Six times eight is. God, I used to be really good at math. Four times six is 32, so 64, so I'll hold stack. Got it. So, I don't have a crafting table here. Why don't I have a crafting table here? Okay. Alright guys, I nabbed a crafting table, so let's turn all these into stone bricks. And we need to make rooms. Wait. This said chisel. Well, what the hell? Well, so we didn't need chisel stone. That's annoying. Alright. Clearly, I did my math wrong, but that's okay. All right, extra stone ain't gonna hurt me. Plus all that in there. Um, okay, now we have all these. Now what we're going to do line up all of this. place this one back right here for now. Just so that way it keeps it dark underneath. And now if we pull out wait, where is it? Where the hell am I that right here? Where'd it go? My divination sigil. Alright guys, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of off cam work here real quick. Because this is what it looks like. Um, the video cut out, I'm not sure where. But I put out the rooms, and now it looks like this. Uh, and as you can see, tier 2. So, to make tier 3, we need basically the same thing on the next layer, except. Uh, let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, except on these corner pieces. On the corner pieces, what you do is you place two blocks down, like I have here. And on top of those blocks, you place a piece of glowstone, and that's in every corner. So I'm going to go do that off camera real quick, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I'm back. I uh, went and got the glowstone placed it out, and I got the rooms all made and put in. Uh, and now, tier 3. Now you may notice the capacity has not changed. That's because blank rooms on their own don't do anything to the old player other than upgrading its tier. Meaning what I can make. Um, so with blood magic, let's see, what we're going to want is we're wanting to, we need to make the capacity rooms, rooms of capacity, which require imbued slates, which can come from a tier 3. But the way it works though, is, actually, you know what guys? I'll explain all that to you in the next episode because we're running a little bit behind on time, so uh, I think we're going to cut it here. We're about we're about 30 minutes in. I'm going to have to do editing on this video because for some reason it cut out. But you guys have seen the Blood Magic Room. You see how it looks. It looks pretty nice. Um, I've enjoyed playing this. It's been a blast for me. And, well... Not much more I can say about that. I love playing with Blood Magic. They've updated it quite a few times over the years, and I love what it's become so far. The setup for the Blood Magic Altar hasn't changed much, but what you have to do to get there has changed quite a bit. Used to, there was no such thing as a Hellfire Forge or Sentinel Weapons or anything like that, and things have changed so much with this. And I, I really enjoy playing with Blood Magic. I enjoy playing Sky Factory in general. But I'm an angel. I always love getting into blood magic. I know how to do it. I the first time I got into blood magic was back when uh, Mayanite was a really big thing. And whoever doesn't know anyone who doesn't know about Mayanite is they're probably just not familiar with Captain Sparkle, Zone G, it's Firefox, Jericho, or uh, Tom, a syndicate. But if you're not, you ought to check it out. It, it was a really interesting series. They did two seasons of it, and this, and they, and uh, Jericho, 
I actually got into blood magic on there, and I was so fascinated and caught up on what he did. I was like, you know, I want to try that for myself. So I got into it, played with it, and I learned how to use it. I really enjoyed playing with it. So, I don't know. We'll get more into it as we continue. Uh, it's one of the achievements anyway. And speaking of which, before we go, let's take a look at the achievement book. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Alchemy. Craft and place the blood magic altar. We are nowhere near this part yet. Uh, automate LP collection. Haven't done that. Room entry. Snare to make demonic, demonic will. Done that. Use essential on the phantom to walk over the void. I will do that. Craft a bound blade. Don't, we haven't done that. Haven't done that. Automate the creation of demonic slates. That's pretty easy. Create a tier 5 blood altar, which is a little bit further down the line. But all this is pretty relatively easy. I've done it in the past, and I'm looking forward to doing it again. Um, now, that's not to say I've forgotten about any of the other achievements, like the max sized reactor. Wait, didn't we create that? I can't remember. Let me take a look. I think I created it. I could have swore I did it off camera and then came back and showed you guys. Yeah, it's right here. The max sized reactor. The laggy ass bitch. Okay, yeah. That achievement is done. Uh, I think I actually began work on an actively cooled reactor. Uh... Oh wait, yeah, I already created an actively cooled reactor. I haven't turned it on or anything. But yeah, that's uh, created. Um, I haven't created a turbine. That's what I was going to make next. And one million RF. How much RF does this thing generate again? I can't remember. Uh, 1.9 RF, million RF. Yeah, we, we did that too. So the only thing we have left on that one is the create a turbine. I feel like maybe I didn't show this to you guys, but yeah, this is the max sized reactor. I did that off camera. It was a pain in the ass. I I ended up filling it with a liquid. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down for a while. Also because, one, it's lighting as fuck. Two, it, it, it fills this thing up almost too quickly. I mean, it's generating 2 million R per t tick, so we don't need that much. We could run that for five seconds and have enough power to play with for days. Um, but it uses so much fuel. Anyway, I, I don't remember I know if I showed that to you guys, and if I didn't, I'm really sorry about that, guys. I must have slipped my mind. But everything's looking really good, guys. And I know the world's super laggy, but there's, the further we progress, the more stuff we have left. Um, we don't have a whole lot of stuff left to do here. Uh, a lot of this is creation, getting into Britannia, build the turbine. So once I build the turbine, I'll have completed Age of Power. I've already completed Green Energy. Uh, I haven't done that yet, which I will uh, to go fight the Chaos Dragons. These Chaos Dragons are bitches. Um, this I'll have completed, I don't know, I'd say about two more episodes I can have all this done. Um, this, uh, I like playing with Batania. The root Ritual Gaia is uh, something I'm not super familiar with. I've done it in the past, but I can't remember it all that well. Uh, I know it's about fight, setting up a bunch of rich, a bunch of pillars and fighting uh, the Gaia, uh, whatever its name is. Uh, Age of Dragons, creating draconic level stuff, not really that difficult, just requires a lot of dragon hearts. Automate wither killing. Uh, and actually, I watched this video not that long ago about a couple of guys automating, uh, you know, um, in dragon killing. Uh, and that would be really awesome to see. Kill a Chaos Dragon, kill four Chaos Dragons. Uh, oh wait, I've already done this one. Built a Tier 4 Energy Core. We have a Tier 7. Uh, I built a Tier 6 at one point, though. Uh, Charm of Dislocation, I've actually made that as well. Draconic Level Fusion Crafter. I've oh wait, Draconic, that's Tier 4, right? Ours is Wyvern. 
uh, jump between two tame dragons while in midair. We have one tame dragon up there. We just have to get another one. Build a dimension. I have not been doing a whole lot of that. Uh, which that would actually be... I'd be able to do all that probably in one day. Age of Insanity. This is the stuff I'm not looking for. I've already done that. Uh, fill up quantum storage unit. Already working on it. Create a near infinite grid power with extra... I don't see how that's near infinite. Do I have dragon eggs? I might be able to do that right now before I hop off. Um, okay, we just created a dragon egg. Uh, dragon egg generator. Dragon stone. Okay, we have to get into Tanya to make the Dragon Egg Trader. Um, the Dragon Egg Mill. That is what it said, right? Dragon Egg Mill. Um, yeah, right here. Dragon Egg Mill. Okay. Produce 1 billion RF per tick. That's a lot of motherfucking power. My huge, huge ass big reactor generates 2 million. I have to be able to not. I have to do that like 5. What? Let's see here. A billion is a thousand million, so Jesus, that would be like five hundred big reactors max sized. A oh, fuck it act. So we'll probably have to do nether generators for uh, like wither nether star generators for that. Use the terrain scanner and regenerate five different biome chunks. I've never done that before, but that looks like it'd be fun. Use a diamond block to cool a max sized reactor. I'm checking this one off because my max size reactor is actually filled with something far more expensive. Uh, build Ender IO farming stations with octadic capacitors, which automate 20 different crops. Not looking forward to having to do that. This one's already being worked on, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and take a look at those real quick right before we end this episode. Let's see here. See, I'm fill quantum storage unit and and octocore and octopal octop octopal compressed cobblestone. But you can tell I have a lot of cobblestone in there being pumped out. Pumping in about 48 per tick. It'll eventually get there. Those are double compresses it's making. So... Yeah, it's pumping in about 164 every second. So... Still got a long ways to go. Um, I'll probably run, let these run off camera near the end of it. Probably right before I do the last episode, I'll have that run off camera for like in two hours or something like that, and let these finish doing what they need to do. Um, and once I make the octuple compressed, I'll actually have it do the opposite, decompress it, and start sending it directly back over. Um, and then I'll unhook all these cobblestone generators from it and have them all directly hook up to this, so that way it speeds up the process. Um, 12 million. I, I don't even know how many of the stores. I assume it's somewhere in the trillions, which means it's going to take forever. Um, we'll find out eventually, guys. I'm not all that concerned with it right now. We still got probably about, I don't know, 15, 20 episodes left of this. Quite a few. I, I'm, I'm not giving up on it until we can check this off. Once we can check that off, I'll be happy. But for now, guys, that's going to have to do it for me. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Click on that little bell right down there. It'll let you know when I upload videos to YouTube. Also, check out the two links down in the description. One is from my Facebook page to the other is from my Twitch channel. So that's going to have to do it for me, guys. So I'll see you on your beautiful faces next time.